Well, do you know where your food comes from? It's kind of an important question because what you put in your body matters. And when you visit a farmer's market, you can not only buy fresh, delicious food, but also learn about how and where it's grown. The Camden Avenue Farmer's Market is a popular spot in Salisbury Tuesday afternoons. And what you'll find when you go there is a group of individuals passionate about what they do. Here's to Marble Life's Katie Zerilli. Fresh food and friendly faces. Two things you're guaranteed to find when you stop by the Camden Avenue Farmer's Market. It's almost like an outside general store in Salisbury. An outside general store more than 10 years old. They've got produce, dairy, baked goods, and more available every Tuesday afternoon. Market manager and dairy farmer Bob Miller says this is an opportunity folks should take advantage of. You know, you're not going to find milk, for instance, or butter, unlike, you know, that's like ours anywhere else. You're not going to find some of the produce here like anywhere else, the eggs like anywhere else. You can count on this farmer's market rain or shine from 2.30 to 5.30 in the winter and until 6 in the spring. It'd be tough to find a more direct link between the producer and consumer. Here you actually get to talk and, and, and learn about what's happening on various farming operations right outside of Salisbury, and that's the crucial point. This is my friend Matt Barfield of Chesterfield Heirlooms That's right. in Pittsville. Veggies all around. Tell me a little bit about your tent. Sure. So we've been coming to uh, this farmer's market for about five seasons now. And uh, we're a 12-acre farm right down the road in Pittsville, Maryland. And uh, we have, uh, fortunately, six uh, unheated greenhouses. So right now we're, actually, we're able to bring like 20 different varieties of vegetables to this market. Uh, right now we're bringing a number of green, fresh greens to the market, uh, lettuce mixes, arugula, baby spinach, Swiss chard, kales, collards, a uh, number of different root vegetables. We've got baby rainbow carrots, uh, sunchokes, uh, rutabagas, beets, winter radishes and all grown right down the road in Pittsville, Maryland. And they look beautiful. Thank you. In fact, almost everything here looks beautiful. What you might not realize is there's hard work behind these products. Farming isn't for the faint of heart, but this market is part of what makes it beyond worth it. So many great people. I've seen people grown up, you know, that were being carried and now they're buying from us, you know, directly, you know, and, and that's exciting. And I'm here now with the excellent Eileen <laughs> Dykes of Twin Post Farm. The egg lady. The egg lady. That's what I like. That's everybody calls me, the egg lady. <laughs> that's perfect. Chicken and duck eggs, right? right? Free right. range? Free range, yes. I used to grow commercially chickens for mm -hmm. 35 years. And when I stopped doing that, then we just changed it over to laying hens. Wow. So I have the two chicken houses, so I open the doors, let them out, and then I close them off at night, and we have the nesting boxes and the perches, and they're happy campers. How long have you been doing this for? Ten years. Ten years. Wow. Yeah. And when people purchase your eggs, what do they say is different about them? What's Fresh. The Mm. That's the biggest thing. We never sell anything that's older than three days. Wow. So unless you're going to be that's right incredible. there when it comes out, you're not going to get them any fresher. Right. Oftentimes the relationships built here grow into something bigger than simply a buyer and a seller. What a connection you make with, with people. You I mean, know, I already feel like we're connecting. Yeah, and, and that's, a, that's the thing. You know, we connect with people. Mm -hmm. uh, you have to have a passion for this. Not everybody wants to stand out in the worst weather known to man right. in the wintertime, you know, and have no sleep. I mean, sure. like I tell everybody, I live and breathe my chickens. I spend more time with the chickens and take better care of them than I do myself. That's probably not a good idea, but... You love them. But if I don't take care of them, they're not going to take care of me. And although each farmer's market member comes as an individual, collectively they form a unit, one that depends on you to keep staying strong. It's like a family here. I mean, and, and that's the other thing, you know, when people come out, they keep this family going. So it's, it's, it's wonderful um, to have all these guys here and see them every Tuesday. It's great. Oh my goodness, Bob also says on their best day, they look for up to 600 people to show up. I like going there. Do you? Yeah, I do, yeah. I really, really do.